Okay, we're going to do a video showing how we make our hopper cars to operate. Start off with a Athern 2B hopper car. And the first thing we have to do is punch out these molded in doors. They're all one piece, all one part of the all one part of the mold. Unfortunately, the plastic is very, very thick here, so it's hard to punch it out. I used to drill a series of holes all around it, take a hobby knife and cut it out and file it smooth. That took too long. So what I did, I had a die made. This is the part that goes through and punches out the doors. Now, it took a lot of effort to do it, so I had my machinist guy cut a little relief here, so you're just pushing out around the edges. Even then, it requires several tons of force. That's the punch part. And this is the other part where doors get pushed into. The slugs go in there and then you clean them out. You do one half the car, turn the car over and do the other half. It takes very little filing to clean up the burrs on the plastic door edges. The other device we have here is a uh, you have to make the doors. Here's a door blank made from tin plate and you make those in the uh, die, punch out die. Here's the die. Feed the metal strip into here and it's a three stage process. First you got to trim off the end of the door then you advance the metal until it hits this little doll pin here. And you come down again, and now I have a complete door. Plus it's trimmed off the edge for the second door. Once you do that, you advance it further so the second door hits that pin. And this part cuts the door off and puts a little Z-bed in the door. Here's the little Z-bed in the door. That's where we're going to solder in a piece of brass tubing off brass tubing, uh, a little bit shorter than the width of the door, and solder to the door, and now you have a good swivel point for the door. What the door does is it uh, swivels on these 32 thousandths music wire pins. So to get the pins to work freely in the doors, what you have to do is take your wire drill, it's about a thousandths bigger than the pin, and you have to clean out the, clean out the uh, tubing to get rid of that burr or whatever mushroom end. And you do that from both ends until it goes in freely. Now you know the pin's going to rock freely in there. So take a door that's been cleaned out, or take a pin, put it through the door, and when you hold the door by the tips of the pins, the door can rock freely. Did somebody get a pause? Okay. Okay, the other thing we have to do is the, we have to anchor those, anchor those uh, pins inside the door. Here's a little brass hinge plate. It's made to fit inside the car body. Just like this. Now there's a tool for making those. And they're very time consuming. My friend in Minnesota he made a, a die for punching those out. You can see the shape of the the die there at the opening, and the other part of the die has the punch. This is the punch part of the die. Now once the hinge pin is made, then you t remove a part here and you put it in the press again, and what you do is you get the hardened steel pins, punch a hole in the brass plate. So once you have the once you have the holes punched out in the car, 
you have to get rid of these lugs right here. Because that's where your magnets are going to go. We use ceramic magnets like this. They have to go in that place. So you got to get rid of that lug so the doors actually touch the magnets. Then we find out we have to remove a little bit of metal on the end of this weight plate so it will fit in place again and clear the magnets. That's to clear the magnets. Now a steel plate actually helps intensify the magnetic power, they say. Okay. Now the other thing I do to these cars, because the frame of the car has to go through the opening in the door, so we have to cut the frame so it can slide the frame back in. While I'm at it, I glue all the little pieces of parts that they give you in the kit, like the air brake stuff. You can't see it, you know, you can't see all those parts. But anyway, we put them in there anyway. Now I mount Katie couplers on it. And the couplers I have use the Athern clip plate to hold them in place. They've been known to come loose. So I drill a hole where the bolster is and tap it for a 256 screw. And that holds the uh, coupler plate in place, won't come off. When they're all done, I put a little drop of cement there so the screw stays in place and don't come loose. What I use is this weld with glue contact cement for almost everything. It's very, very effective stuff. It'll last forever. It's similar to Walter's goo that they had years ago, except this is uh, readily available at your hardware store. These are all the pieces and parts for the air brake stuff that we put in the car. And you got to remember what's in the car put the body on the frame because your air brake parts are on this end so the car has this brake hand wheel hold on this end so you make sure this end gets set up with this end to make it right now the doors themselves I used to make a few of them by hand but it took way too long so I have this die made up. I designed this die and I had a fellow down in Tempe make it for me. It takes three passes through the die to make a complete door. This here is the punch part of the die. So anyway, we have this piece of metal that we feed into the die. Three quarter inch piece of template feed it in there and the first thing you're going to do is trim off the end. That forms the end of your door, your first door. Then the metal is passed through and we punch it and we get a complete door. And then it's also trimmed the metal for the next door. Then we advance the metal in further and we get, it does two more things. It cuts the door off from the strip and it also puts the Z bin in the door. The Z bin, like I said, was where we put our brass tube in for our wires. And final assembly is I'll go get one of those cars. This is the finished car with the doors installed, the magnets, and you want these doors to work freely. And we have a device that opens the doors, a pin that comes through the middle of the track, and it opens the doors and the magnets will pull them shut. There's one other feature here. This car has a center pin, 32,000 music wire. That is for our opening device to hold a car still when you're opening the doors. The opening device is a very, very sturdy machine. And we'll tell you how this is made. But anyway, I told you that the doors are open by pins that go up between the rails. 
and this part here has two poles that come up that actually hold the car in place. These two poles come up and the center pin of the car is trapped between them. So when you open the doors, the car won't move at all. This is very sturdy and it's gentle to the cars. Very time consuming to build. We'll show you a video about how this is made next time. Phil Anderson.